I'm Mark Fiore, and I do animated political cartoons. Spinocrat, a spinal growth supplement for Democrats. They're all on online news sites. So anywhere from SFGate, which is the San Francisco Chronicle site, to CBS News, Slate, different places out there like that. Say no to the Jamestown settlement. White man go home. I have to come up with a new animation every week. 52 weeks a year, and animation has to come out of my brain by uh, Wednesday at 4. It's a very fast process because I'm trying to stay right on top of the events as they happen. So I'm basically uh, cranking and, you know, and, and panting all the way along until I hit my, my Wednesday deadline. The way I get to a particular cartoon topic or an idea is just reading the paper, looking on the web at different news sites. I just go after something that makes me mad. Because, you know, I just can't believe what I'm reading. You know, those are always the, the best starting points for a cartoon. The whole issue of Hillary crying or potentially crying came up, and I just thought that was so perfect for a cartoon and, you know, ridiculous from the media standpoint. Check, check, check. America's Guide to Crying. Hi there, I'm Weepy and I want to show you some of the ways Americans are allowed to cry. Look to your favorite news channel for 24-hour cry analysis. And then the news guy comes in. Is eye welling the same as crying? We'll find out when we go to Anderson Cooper reporting live from inside Hillary Clinton's left tear duct. Most of these political figures are, are people that I've drawn before. I have a real love-hate relationship with campaign cartoons because especially early in the process you get you know thousands of different people that are trying to run for president you've got so many more people to worry about drawing Obama is one of my favorite caricatures as well because he's got the greatest ears to draw I hope that whoever wins is gonna be all the good citizenship stuff and a great leader and do good things for the country but I hope they're a good caricature. Levels of violence have gone from carnages to tragical. In a couple minutes I'll draw Anderson Cooper, uh, hopefully semi-successfully, <laughs> but uh, that's someone that I've never drawn before, so I'll do a little research on the web. Oh my god, someone got an Anderson Cooper tattoo. He has this, he always has this really like, I am so concerned look. And now he's gonna be kind of floating in space in Hillary's tear ducts. I always knew that I wanted to be a cartoonist, particularly once I found out that you know you could actually make a living doing cartoons. And so that's what I have been shooting for since, really since I was a little kid. The first big break that I got, it was in 2001. I ended up getting the job as the staff cartoonist at the San Jose Mercury News. And Soon after I got the job, the dot-com bubble burst, and so I left slash was fired. I am victorious. But at the same time, I had, on the side, started doing animation and discovered flash animation and that, hey, you can do this just sitting behind your computer and one guy can crank out an animation and put it on the web. Topia is a wondrous place where we learn to work well with others who may or may not work well with others. Compared to yeah. doing print a cartoons, I feel like I can really reach into people's brains a lot more with motion, color, music, voices, sound effects. An exit strategy isn't my problem. It's the responsibility of the next Surge Mander in Chief, whoever that might be. So it's midday on Wednesday, and at this point, everything's starting to come together, um, but in a frenzied, panicked way. And one of the big things that happened that is going to change the animation a little bit uh, is that Hillary won unexpectedly in New Hampshire last night. So I ended up doing a little bit of changing to the script. The general slant that I was taking in this animation was that women can't cry, it's not going to help them politically, uh, and that changed last night.
And you know, the media is kind of harping on the fact that, hey, maybe that cry didn't hurt her, maybe it actually helped her a little bit. If used sparingly, tears can help a female presidential candidate win a primary. But don't let them roll down your cheeks, or you'll seem crazy and unstable. Better you remain strong, controlled, and robotic. I I don't provoke or stick pins in people just to make them angry or just to get a reaction. What my main goal is always is just to say something, something that I think has value, to give an opinion or to bring attention to something that I think people should be paying attention to. And if people get pissed off along the way, that's fine. You are evil and venal and have made me sick. In case you missed it, Bush won, ha ha. You must be part Frenchman and have a dirty back caused by rolling over, going belly up like a scared dog every time you sense danger. That's well written. You are an insufferable, self-righteous Fortunately, you don't mean to anybody. Now go out and get yourself a real job, or is this the best you can do? It kind of is. <laughs> it is uh, 20 to three, and I'm starting to get a little nervous about actually finishing this. I basically have all of the scenes composed, and so what I need to do now is sync the audio to the animation. Cry appropriately. Okay, now I'm just putting all the eye blinks throughout there. So now he's got mouth movements, arm movements, and eyes. In the 10 minutes I have left, I'm adding the music track, as well as all the different like plinks and pops and zips and zaps. Almost there. Okay, that should do it. Minutes away from hitting the send button. This is always the fun part. Ah. And now I'm exhausted. Hi there, I'm Weepy, and I want to show you some of the ways Americans are allowed to cry. If used sparingly, tears can help a female presidential candidate win a primary. Some shed a tear at the beauty of a gun show and the tender touch of a semi-automatic AR-15. Some feel nature's teary tug whenever they say the word mill worker. Anderson Cooper, reporting live from inside Hillary Clinton's left tear duct. There are so many reasons to cry this campaign season. Be sure you pick the right one. And remember, cry appropriately.